Hello and welcome to CalHR's LSIP online system training. This is for the language survey portion. I'm John Herring, the program manager for Bilingual Services. When you log in to the LSIP online system, it will be located at jobs.calhr.ca.gov slash LSIP. On the left, we have a number of resources. It says training resources, but this also includes transmittal form that you will need to submit with your director's signature in order to finalize your report the implementation plan form, which we won't use for this first portion, the language survey PowerPoint, which more or less follows along what we are showing in this tutorial, implementation plan PowerPoint, and this module you're currently accessing. We also have below the language survey and implementation plan request for exemption, if you have fewer than 25 public contact employees and you have never had to provide bilingual services because you haven't met the threshold, or if your agency's mission statement does not include responsibility to provide information to the public, you may be eligible at LHR's discretion for an exemption from conducting the language survey. If you believe that you meet one or both of those qualifications, feel free to fill out the form, which is located right here. It is a 10-year exemption because it is good statutorily for five cycles and each cycle is two years. Keep in mind that the exemption applies only to the language survey and implementation plan requirement of the Act. If you reach the threshold at which there is a substantial community speaking a non-English language, you are still required to provide language support equivalent to what's available in English. Closing the exemption form, we return to the main login. The new user signup is here, and if you are the language survey coordinator for your agency, then you are also a master user. Check this box in that case. Once you fill out this information and hit next, it will generate an email to CalHR's Bilingual Services Program box. We will verify that you're authorized to have access. If you're not the language survey coordinator, you will need permission because master user access allows you to change not only the data within the system, but also the structure of the agency as it's being reported. Returning to the main login page once again, we have the forgot password link. If you've forgotten your password, click here. It will ask you for some information there and then send you an email about account recovery. This concludes the first portion of the LSIP online system training module covering the login page. Feel free to continue to module two.